A picture is worth saying a thousand words, hence drawings are used to visually communicate ideas, thoughts, and designs. Drawings drawn by an engineer for engineering purposes is engineering drawing. Drawing is the universal graphical language of engineers, spoken, read and written in its own way. Engineers must have perfect drawing skills and excellent working knowledge of engineering concepts. An inaccurate drawing may misguide the workmen and ultimately affect the production. The instruments used in engineering drawing are, drawing sheet, drawing board, mini drafter, eraser, p-square, pencils, protractor, french curves, set squares, compass, divider. Detail explanation of each drawing instrument's drawing sheet. It is standard practice for a drawing frame to be printed on each sheet, defining a margin around the outside of drawing area. The margins of the drawing frames are standardized for each size of paper. Title block. The title block is normally placed in the bottom right of the drawing frame, and it should contain the following information. The name of the company or organization. The title of the drawing. The drawing number, which is generally a unique filing identifier. The scale. The drawing size. The angle of projection used, either first or third, generally shown symbolically. The signature or initials of the draftsman, checker, approving officer, and issuing officer, with the respective dates. The material of the part. The revision number. The sheet number for multi-sheet drawings. Other information as required, tolerances, surface finish, etc. In addition to the information above, for drawings produced using CAD software, it is highly recommended to have the following information in the title block. The name of the CAD software used and its version. The name of the drawing file. The name of the source part or assembly file. The units of the dimensions, if the drawing is mistakenly printed on a different paper size, the scale becomes meaningless. Drawing board. The D2 or D3 drawing boards are usually used in polytechnics and engineering colleges. Drawing boards are made of well-seasoned softwood such as oak or pine. The standard sizes of drawing boards as per BIS, 1444 to 1977, are given in the table. Mini drafter. A mini drafter is a device with two scales set at right angles to each other. It combines the functions of a T-square, set squares, scales and a protractor. It can be easily and quickly moved to any location on the drawing sheet without altering the scales. T-square is mainly used together with set squares for drawing horizontal lines angles and perpendicular lines. There are two essential parts of a T-square, namely the stock and the blade. The blade is fitted with ebony or a plastic piece to form the working edge of the T-square. The stock and the blade of a T-square are held together at right angles to each other. T-squares are made of hard quality wood such as teak or mahogany, etc. Drawing pencils are of different grades. The HB pencil is a soft grade used for drawing thicker lines, border lines, lettering and arrowheads. The H pencil is used to draw finishing lines, visible lines and hidden lines. An eraser is a good quality rubber that is used to erase unwanted lines, arcs etc. from a drawing. Drawing clips are used to fix the drawing sheet on the drawing board. They are made of nickel coated steel. A pencil sharpener is used to give pencils with good drawing tips. Emery paper, 120 grade, is used to obtain a conical or chisel tipped pencil. French curves are used for drawing irregular curves that cannot be drawn by compasses. Scales or rulers are devices with precise graduations marked on their straight edges for precise measurements. Scales are made of celluloid or cardboard. Eight types of scales are used, M1, M2 and so on, M8 as per BIS 10713 to 1983. A pair of compasses are used to draw circles and darts. Compasses are used in conjunction with scales. Plane dividers are used to divide straight or curved lines into a prescribed number of equal parts, for transferring dimensions and for setting of distances from a scale to drawings. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel.